Hi, it's Robin. I'd just like to show you how to take care of the Fabri-Solvi if you're gluing your pieces together. So I have here the mouth, teeth and tongue for Humpty Dumpty. Now if you were stitching these together, uh, the instructions would tell you to simply place each piece over the top of the other using the placement lines for guidance and then you would just stitch the tongue and the teeth into place like that. The fabri solvi you would then soak away with water and it would disappear from both on top of these pieces and underneath. If you're gluing it, however, that's not an option for you. You can't glue directly over the fabri solvi. It really doesn't cope at all well with any heat. So please try very hard not to get the hot glue gun onto the fabri solvi. This is how you should take care of it instead. Still use your placement lines. They're going to guide you on, on where you place each piece. Instead, what I recommend you do is use very sharp pointy scissors, pass them underneath the Fabri Solvi and on top of the felt, and you're going to trim this piece of Fabri Solvi away. Use the placement lines for guidance. So I've trimmed away the area for the tongue. Then I'm also going to peel off the Fabri Solvi from the tongue itself. Like I said, it doesn't cope with heat, so please don't use the um, hot glue gun, even if it's not directly onto it, even if it's underneath, just don't do it. You'll find that it'll uh, bunch up and stick to the felt and it won't peel off very well at all. Now that you've got two clean pieces of felt, you've got this area here and the tongue itself, now you can place a small amount of hot glue onto the mouth and then stick the tongue on top there. That way you're not sticking it over the Fabri Solvi but you're still able to take advantage of the placement lines. I hope that helps.